Uh, this afternoon we're visiting with uh, Nathan Weathers. Nathan is, and his dad, Byron, farm out uh, High Plains of Colorado, Eastern Colorado. Been using, uh, I met Nathan's dad, Byron, at the National Corn Growers here at least 10 years ago. It was Nashville, Tennessee. I do remember that part of it. And uh, he's been using our products ever since. And, and uh, Nathan came back into the farming operation, I believe it was uh, 2004, was it? You went off to school, came back, and you're working with your dad as well work in your own pro uh, ground. And you guys just use more and more of the Compton AgriVantage system every year. And uh, you guys were sharing with me just a few days ago or a month or so ago about your belief in Guardian and what that does. And Guardian is a, a product that we use to help uh, save nitrogen in the soil. And you guys, why don't you just go ahead and share, Nathan, what you guys seen with the Guardian and, and any in insights on that? Well, the Guardian product, Rich, is it's an amazing product because there's a whole lot of there. Are, there's several other products on the market that have the same claim as what Guardian actually does. Uh, it and everything that we try to do in the soil is we try to build soil health, and we try to promote plant growth, and we're trying to keep that plant as healthy as we can. As we've all heard Jerry Cox say, you never want your plant to have a bad day. Okay. So that's where Guardian comes into the picture for us is we're, we farm predominantly sandy soils and nobody wants to have to go through your field multiple times to try to apply nitrogen but when we all and we all know that band applying nitrogen is much better than broadcast so we've actually cut back to two applications of most of our nitrogen and putting on some of it with the planter and then some of it with side dress and we actually apply a guardian in both applications uh, it, it allows us to put a little bit more in up front so that we know we're not behind during ear, ear initiation or anything, you know, in, in those critical times early in that plant's growth stage. And what really, where we really learned where the benefits of Guardian were was the first year we used it, we were skeptical as most people. We applied, we didn't change our nitrogen program at all. All we did was we added in the Guardian product uh, I believe it was during our side dress, which okay. we're usually applying. We variable rate it, and it's anywhere from 100 to 150 pounds in in one shot okay. with side dress. So we added the Guardian in there, and I don't even remember what the rate was. But okay. we were using the liquid, and we really didn't see a yield response that year. But when our agronomist pulled our soil samples that fall, his first question was, well, how much in did you guys apply? And we're like, well, the same as we always have. You know, we didn't change anything. And what he had found was we had 60 and 70 pounds of nitrogen carried over on some of our valent sand hills that normally we're running out of nitrogen. Okay. Well, he couldn't figure it out. Well, the only thing we could think of, and the only thing we did different was we added the product Guardian. Okay. So we did the same thing the next year. We didn't change anything. All we did was add Guardian. Well, our carryover at the end of that year was just as high. Well, that year we did see a yield increase. So we just decided, huh. So we started cutting our end rates back. Well, and for us, it took a couple of years before we fully bought into the program. But now we're actually down around 0.8 to 0.9 pounds of nitrogen per bushel of applied in at some fairly high yield goals. And we can fully attribute it to the product Guardian. Okay, excellent. Uh, you were telling me this year you actually set your overall farm average was the best it's ever been and your nitrogen usage is actually down and you're still having the amount of nitrogen left in the soil as well as in the plant to finish it all the way out for you. Is Correct. That the tip? Yes, yes. This year we had, uh, we had the highest farm average uh, by about eight bushels, uh, higher than dad had ever had before. Um, and that's even including a circle that got hailed on pretty hard and didn't do very good at all. But that's including that it made about eight bushel better than what our previous farm average was. And, and part of the thing is, it, we're doing a lot of things different. We've been strip tilling now for about 10 years. So we're getting the mineralization of a lot of our organic nitrogen coming through our, or, okay. our increase in organic matter. Okay. But that's freeing up along with the nitrogen that we're keeping and it's just working hand in hand. Okay, excellent. 
Uh, you talked about the hail event that you had, and, and I'm going to just switch gears a little bit and move into our product Feast XL. It's a 2600 with a half a percent boron, and you guys have been using it for several years along with your fungicide. But you shared with me uh, the hail event that hit that one quarter this year where you guys lost, well, defoliated your corn. Why don't you share what happened and give the exact details of that, Nathan? Well, what happened, Rich, was we had a hail event come through right in the middle of pollination. We had about 50% brown silks and 50%. So we were about 50% pollinated when it happened. And the hail event came through, and it, we had basically just a stock. We had about 80% defoliation. That was This was actually two weeks after the hail event when the insurance adjuster came out. Uh, insurance called it 80% defoliation. Okay. And we didn't know what the heck we were going to do okay. because we didn't know if it was going to pollinate. Uh, you know, we didn't. We just weren't sure. Well, we couldn't afford to give up on the crop, so we don't believe in just shutting the water off and abandoning it. Uh, so what we did was we basically hit it with the kitchen sink. We used the Feast XL uh, along with our fungicide and our insecticide, okay. which is a normal practice for us. We, okay. I will not apply a fungicide without Feast XL. Okay. Uh, the coverage and the coating on the leaves, um, I know you're not supposed to go in right behind the plane, but if you, if you do go in and happen to look at the leaves real quick, grab some and walk okay. out, uh, you can see the speckling all the way down the plant to the bottom leaves. Yeah. So you know you're getting the coverage and the coating, and then the great thing about Feast XL is it actually has rain fast in it already. Okay. So it helps the sticker on the plant, um, and it just helps the fungicide work even better. Okay. But that crop, we came in and we hit it, and then about a week and a half later, we came in and we hit it with uh, late season application of Roundup, and uh, and also a gallon and a half of Feast XL again okay. uh, to try to keep that late season plant health. And since we didn't have any leaves, we knew our weeds were just going to go crazy. crazy. So mm -hmm. we put the Roundup in there to try to control the weeds, and uh, that circle still ended up making 175 bushel. 175 bushel. That's that's what you're sharing here. With, with 80 percent leaf loss. 80 percent leaf loss. You said the ears weren't really bruised. It was just took the leaves, stripped them all yeah. off. And that, when you take a look at the factory of losing 80 percent of the leaf, that's going to have the chlorophyll. That's going to help make that plant. The Feast XL really had to help you out there. Now, what, on your first application, how much Feast XL can you remember? How much you used there? Right uh, there? We usually try to run as much as the flyboys will let us. Okay. Um, they try to stay five gallon or less, so we typically run two and a half to three gallons. Okay. Uh, we run a fairly high rate, okay. but we also feel what we have found is these new uh, these new hybrids. The harder you can push them at the end, the longer stay green you can have, and okay. we're getting a lot higher test weights. Mm -hmm. um, if, if I have a test weight under 60 pounds, I'm upset. Okay. Well, I know you shared on that field, was it like 61, 62 pound yes. test weight? 175 bushel corn with that kind of defoliation, and we still averaged about 60 and a half pound corn. Yeah. Okay. Great. So, which means everything was that, that plant needed late was there. Well, appreciate you sharing that. Uh, is there any overall things that you wanted to say, Nathan, there with the Guardian or Feast XL or any of the other products that you guys use? I know you've been using our products a long time. I appreciate your guys' business, and, and our company appreciates it. Uh, and I know you guys have done a tremendous amount of field testing, as they say. Give it to the farmer, and he figures out how to break things, and you guys have figured out how to make things really work and, and work well. Uh, like you said, it's your best overall yield, yield average that you and your dad's ever had. Any other things that you guys want to share there? I'd say the biggest thing for us is... Uh, and I and I, I'm going to steal a quote from Danny Damon uh, today. Uh, once once you've seen enough testing on something, it's time to go ahead and make the decision and just implement it. Okay. Uh, and that's kind of where we're at. Uh, you know, we test things a little bit, but once we see it work, it just becomes normal practice for us. Okay. Um, and that's where and that's where I think uh, the soil testing for Midwest Labs comes in. The first and foremost thing of anybody even thinking about the AgriVantage system is just send a sample and send a soil test into Midwest Labs under the Conklin name, and just get it back, see what it says, and try it on one field. Okay. And and that's basically what we did, and it's we now send all of our samples in there, and we get their recommendation on every acre. Okay. Great. 
Thanks for your time, Nathan.